In order to use a custom domain with Laravel Vapor, you first have to create an HTTPS certificate. Now, Vapor does this for you automatically using the AWS Certificate Manager. So all you need to do is in your project, run Vapor, cert, and then the name of your domain that you'd like to create the certificate for. So in my case, I'm gonna use ocmedia.com. I've already done this, so I'm not gonna press enter now. After running that Vapor cert command, the Vapor UI will be updated to list a section for certificates. And under there, you can see that you need to add a validation CNAME record. So this tells AWS that you actually own the domain you're requesting the certificate for. So you'll want to add a CNAME record with this name and this value and let AWS validate that for you. So if you're using Route 53 to manage your DNS, uh, Vapor will take care of the CNAME and validation for you automatically. And if you're not yet using Route 53, but you want to, it's really easy to get started. Again, there's a Vapor command for Vapor zone and then the name of your domain name. And what that'll do is that'll create a hosted zone on Route 53, and then it'll give you four name server addresses that you should point your domain at. So in my case, I have ocmedia.com as my hosted zone, and then I have these four name servers that I point ocmedia at. And from there, my DNS is now managed by Route 53, and in turn, it can be managed directly through Vapor. So now when I go to generate a certificate for this domain, um, the CNAME record here is automatically added to my DNS entries. And also when I go to deploy a new custom domain, as we'll see in a second, Vapor again adds that A name record for me right away. So assuming your certificate is generated and everything is good to go there, the next thing we're gonna do is open our vapor.yaml file and add an entry for domain. And here you're gonna enter the custom domain that you'd like to um, have Vapor deploy at. So in my case, I'm gonna call it vaporvideo.ocmedia.com. And that's it. And now when we redeploy our site, Vapor will know to use the custom domain. So I'm gonna deploy the staging environment. Again, this will take about a minute to run through, so I'll report back when it's finished. All right, so we're back now. The project has been deployed successfully, and you can see this time we have a custom domain on the left and the alias slash CNAME record we need to create on our DNS profile. So again, if Vapor is not managing your DNS records for you, you manually have to go and add this to your DNS entries. However, if Vapor is managing your DNS for you, you can see under domains, ocmedia.com, Vapor has automatically added the vaporvideo.ocmedia alias record for me. Okay, and now going to that URL in my browser, vaporvideo.ocmedia.com, you can see that it's resolving to our empty Laravel project as we created in the first video. Uh, do note that it took about two minutes for that subdomain to resolve in Route 53. So if it doesn't work right away, just be patient. Eventually it will propagate. All right, now the last thing I want to show you is using the maintenance mode in turn with a custom domain. So if we use vapor down and then staging, we're, we're going to put staging into maintenance mode, which will disable this URL from being accessible. So it took 15 seconds to do that. Now I'm going to hit that URL again, vapor video vaporvideo.ocmedia.com and we see we get a 503. However, if we go back and go to our vanity URL, we can see that it's still running. So the use case here is if you're making changes and you want to test your site before you open it back up to the public or you just need to play around with it still being disabled to the public, you can use the vanity URL to test your application while the custom domain is set as a 503 maintenance mode. And then to reverse that, we can do vapor up and then the staging environment. And again, take about 15 seconds. We're gonna redeploy our application, but with maintenance mode turned off. All right, the up command is finished and now we can go back. Our vanity URL is still running and our custom domain is now still running. So that's it. That's how easy it is to add a custom domain to a Laravel vapor project. Uh, the biggest hurdle is getting that certificate set up. And again, if you let Vapor manage your DNS for you using Route 53, it couldn't be easier.